Well, we've been up hunting ducks with you. We've been up hunting geese with you and had a tremendous time. Both opportunities have been fantastic. Right. So tell us a little bit more about the operation and what are the things you have available. Well, one of the things that's really cool, Brad, about the eastern end of Lake Ontario, and as you know, our name is Seaway Waterfowl Professionals. Right. We're Bill Safe Outdoors, but the duck hunting side of the business is Seaway Waterfowl Professionals. And the reason we called it and gave it that moniker is because the Seaway region is so diverse. Okay. You've been here for resident Canada geese with us, and you know it's a wipeout. Had a great shoot. Yeah, it's, it's about as good as it gets in the Atlantic Flyway. And that starts in early September, and it runs from the 1st to the 25th. If you took an aerial view of what we have here in the Seaway region, you got the east end of Lake Ontario, you've got the confluence of the St. Lawrence River, right. and the Lake Plains and the step leading into the interior where the Adirondacks are, okay. that's all primarily a giant swamp and marsh that's interspersed with agriculture. You know, it's a big dairy yeah. area yeah. here. A lot of alfalfa, cornfields. Corn, you got tons of food, yeah. but you got tons of water and marshland habitat. So exactly. a bird that's migrating into our region, that's a huge calling card. So when we get into early October, generally the duck season will start in early October and you're, you're going to have dabbling ducks for about a week and a half to a two week period. Okay. Blacks, mallards, green wing teal, blue wing teal, wood ducks, gotcha. gadwall widgeon, that kind of thing in the back country. That's a big variety. That's a lot of ducks. It's a huge, <laughs> in the, the, course of a, the course of a year about 21 to 22 different species of ducks and geese will harvest here. Wow. And then that will close and then around um, the third Saturday in October generally the duck season will open up and it'll run through about the first two weeks in December unbroken okay. for an entirety of a 60 day season. But once we get to open water and it gets colder, all those dabbling ducks that we had in the back country, of course your wood duck and your blue winged teal are gone, right. but everything else comes out to the lake shore, the St. Lawrence River, right. um, any, any of your Indian River chain lakes. So now you got bluebills, lessers and graders, golden eye, um, buffle head. Yeah, yeah. You do get some redheads, the occasional canvas back, um, all your different merganser types, ring neck ducks, but you have all those dabblers in right. conjunction with them. Very, very common to do a multi species hunt on through November and into December, where you take anywhere from three to seven different species yeah, yeah, in the course of a great day. Great variety, great yeah. variety of birds. I can't keep track of them all because I'm not a waterfowler, but I see them coming in and you're sure. saying, this is this and this is this. It's, it's amazing, so many different species. And then, as long as you're willing to travel a little bit as a waterfowler, and we are, right. we re relocate during the first two weeks of January into the Finger Lakes. Oh. I hunt, I base out of Ithaca, New York, we shoot Cayuga, we shoot Seneca, and we shoot Owasco Lakes. And um, that's just because where we happen to be. Skinny Atlas, Canandaigua, Canisius, Honey Oy, they're all tremendous lakes. Wow. And as it freezes up here in this country, those birds push to the south and they filter in. The only variation I would say when you get into the Finger Lakes is that you definitely start to get a heavier percentage of redheads and canvasbacks coming into those areas. Yeah. All the other duck species that we talked about are available, but one of the main reasons people hunt the western zone with us late in the month of January is for an opportunity to take a redhead. Right, a lot of them here. Well, there you have it. Tons of different variety, lots of different seasons you can come and hunt. Anywhere from September the whole way through till middle of January. Middle of January, right here with uh, Bill Safe Outdoors. Awesome, buddy. Thanks, it's man. Good having you, Brad. Oh, I love it. It's always man. fun. Every time. Every time.